So today we have an opportunity to work as real scientists examining a real world problem. Okay, and that's the effect of e-cigarette vapor on living cells. Um, it's through a, a program at Cornell um, called the ASSET program. And what we were looking at was the effect of e-cigarette vapor condensate on a living cell. All right, so it's set at 50, and we'll try to um, The tetrahymena is a unicellular organism that has cilia to locomote. And just like human cells, um, all of our cells have at least one cilia. So we're interested in seeing the impact uh, that nicotine and uh, e-vapor condensate might have on a living cell. We actually see the, the tetrahymena swimming quite quickly in a straight line motion when the e-vapor condensate is added to the cells, we have just seen clumps of cells drop to the bottom of the droplet where those cells um, have died. And we have also observed changes in the motility of the cells. The research is clear that we can make connections to a human cell, that the e-vapor condensate and nicotine as well, it's not just vapor, would have on, on a cell. It was really cool to see like how the tetrahymena was like moving under the microscope. I think what we teach in middle school matters. And I think as, a, as an educator, it's very important to teach meaningful, real world lessons if this makes a difference for even one of my students, um, then it really was a lesson well taught. Do you want to look at it? It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome.